welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a Korean Beauty eyeshadow video review. It is of this palette from Etude House. It is Play Color Eyes. I got sent this from a subscriber about a year ago called May. May? Mei, <laughs> um, and so thank you so much Mei for this, and I'm finally doing a review on it, I found it in my pile of stuff to review and I thought why not do it, it is the perfect season now I can actually wear those kind of colours on my eyes because it is a stunning palette. Alrighty, so that is the outside there, I'm not quite sure because I don't read Korean but the other side of it is all in Korean, and then let's open her up, I love the little wine pattern. I think it's so cute. I think it's like a wine colored palette. Just by looking at it you can kind of see that it is definitely like a wine color. On the back it does actually say wine party that I've seen. So I think that this is the wine party palette by Etude House. And let's just open her up. So this is the cute shades here. So unfortunately I can't read it so I don't know what shades are what but I can still go ahead and swatch it anyway. So it comes with these eye shadow applicators which are actually really good for using on your eyebrows funnily enough. So I will be using different brushes for this today. Let's take it off. So that is the palette here and I think it has a sticky on the mirror. Okay, that's better. So these are the colors here and it's a beautiful wine color. So I think what I will do is swatch this bad boy. Unfortunately, I don't know what shades are what. So, oh, but it's a very creamy formula. Let's bring that up there. So that one's not swatching very well, but you've got to remember that finger swatches aren't as good as eye swatches just because of the oils in your fingers and that kind of thing. So things pick up differently on brushes most of the time. I'm really liking this color scheme though, and because I'm so tan, this is why it might not be coming up as well. And this one looks right up my alley. It's a beautiful shimmery color. This one here. So she said over in Singapore and Creatitude House is a really good brand. So I'm really excited to try them all. That gold like speaks rhythms to me. Alright, and let's put that one there. So that is all of these swatches there of it. And I think it's a really, really pretty palette. Like those this color scheme is just so gorgeous. I'm like nudes, a bit of berry, some glitter that's right up my alley. And the perfect little compact size to stick in your handbag or something. Like it's just a very nice small size. So I think what I will do is start with a nude look. It does actually have a mirror with it, so I was gonna use a different mirror, but it's got a mirror with it. So I think I'm going to try this shade here and just start with this one. I'm going to give it a few dabs. It's not very full out either. So let's have a look. I just had a spray tan, so my makeup is much darker. So normally on my normal skin tone, this color would be much more visible. But it still is going on quite nicely. Like I quite like it. And then I think what I'm going to put on my lid is I'm going to go for this ready shade here. This one here. So it's picking up a lot of the pigment on there. I'm super excited about that. It's a really nice pigment payoff. Like it's, I'm not only doing a few dips as you can see, like it's pretty, pretty good. Done that one a bit higher, so I think I'm just gonna get my blendy brush and just kind of blend that out a little bit more. I like how the colors are very easily blendable as well. Okay, and now for under my waterline, I wanna go for, I think, this brown here. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this dark shade to the outer corner. Alrighty, now I think on my lid, I'm going to find the right brush to use. 
I'm gonna get this glittery ass shade here, which is just so freaking pretty. This one. I'm gonna put that. So this is with no primer as well. So I'm pretty impressed. I've never tried like Korean products just simply because I live in New Zealand and it's not an easily accessible product, but I am loving this. That it's not a pure gold, it's just like a gold shimmer. Like I love that. I'm just gonna put that over my whole lid because I really like that gold. It's like almost a nice Christmassy look. And then I think for my outer corner, I am going to get this dark berry color here. And just kind of get my brush in like so. And just smoke out this outer corner. Alrighty. So that is my eye look there. And I think what I need to do now is just add a mascara and eyeliner and I'll be right back. So that is the final look there with lashes on and I am obsessed with it, low-key. I think it's a really good quality formula. I love how the gold like reflects off and I just love how freaking cute and small this is. Like it's a really small, versatile little palette and if you really did want, you could definitely use the little eyeshadow applicators they go in quite nicely I'm I'm really sorry that I couldn't show off what shades they were um I simply just I'll hold it up here on the mirror but I simply just don't know what they say but they do have like different symbols on there um like one's a cheese one's a brush that kind of thing so but yeah unfortunately I don't know what shades they all are but that was the Play Color Eyes Etude House Wine Party Palette, made in Korea, so Korean makeup, and I really do like it. The pigmentation payoff is way better than on the arm. Remember how I was saying on the arm how it would be different because of the oils that you can see on the eyes, that it comes across really nicely, and I just love that gold effect on the eyeshadow. Like, I really want to use it with, like, so many browns that I've got in other eyeshadow palettes. Like, I love how you could add these two other eyeshadow palettes or you could even like depot these and put these in another one but I actually really really like this it's cute and versatile and yeah I think it's freaking awesome so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video too and if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe with subscribe boxes and until next time I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one bye